Hey y'all, in this lesson, we will be practicing writing the equation for a parabola, which is a quadratic, when given the vertex and one point. If you are given a picture of a parabola, a parabola is a picture, but a picture of a quadratic, or if you're just given verbal information, as long as you can find the vertex in one point, then you can write your equation really easily. So in this case, we were given the parabola and based on the picture, we can pretty easily locate the vertex and at least one point. There's another one on here that we can easily see. So you could use that one instead if you want, but it really doesn't matter because they're both on the same parabola. So we're gonna get the same answer. So what is the vertex? It is negative two, negative four, which represents H, K. We'll come back to that. And then what is one point? On the parabola, we picked, I picked, 0, 0, which represents x, comma, y. And then vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Now, if you'll notice in this form, we actually have a lot of information. With just two points, we have four pieces of information. We have y, we have x, we have h, we have k. So all we're missing is a, which means that we can find it. And we are going to plug in the information we have. We know that y is zero. We don't know a, x is zero. Minus is part of the formula, h is negative two, and k was negative four. Let me double check. Yeah. Then we have an equation with a, it's only one variable, so we can easily solve this equation. We will simplify what's inside the parentheses and then two squared is four. I'm going to write it in front of the A instead of minus it, I'm not minus it, uh, behind it. It really doesn't matter the order, but four A is a little more common than A four. Then we are going to solve for A by adding four and dividing by four. Now that we have A and we have h and k, we can write our equation. We want to leave y and x as y and x because we're writing the equation of the parabola. And equations of parabolas or equation, quadratic equations are going to have those two variables. So y stays the same. a was 1, h was negative 2, k was negative 4. Then I simplify. There's no need really for that one in front. And there's your equation. Now I will say this is vertex form. So you can write this in standard form. If the problem is asking for standard form, you can easily go from here to there. This is vertex form, but we can extend it a little bit further by multiplying it out. We have y equals x plus two squared minus four. Now we just have to expand it, which means we're going to multiply this, x plus two squared. Then you can either distribute or use the box method in either case, we'll get x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. And then I have this minus 4 that came from the beginning. But now these are like terms and they actually add to 0. We end up with x squared minus 4x. 
and that would be standard form. So there's two different forms there, depending on what your question is asking you, but that is how you would write an equation for a quadratic or for a parabola when given the vertex and a point. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to help. See you in the next one.